Two years ago, I did my best hamster cages available video, so I thought it was time to make a new one. Keep in mind, not every hamster will be happy in these cages, and I recommend going with the largest cage possible. It's also good to note that the measurements given generally are the outer measurements, so the internal floor space may be slightly smaller than what is given. I've categorized these cages into groups, so we'll start with wire enclosures. Personally, I avoid wire cages because I find they just have a bit more cons than other styles, but that's just my opinion. So we'll start off with the Alexander hamster cage, which has 821 square inches of floor space. It does have three doors, one large one on the top and two smaller ones on the side. Next, we have the Kevin 82, which has 650 square inches of floor space. It does have a larger front door and keep in mind the wheel included is too small for a hamster. Then we have the Barney hamster cage, which has 781 square inches of floor space with three doors similar to the Alexander cage, as well as it has a wheel as well that isn't large enough for a hamster. Then we have the Marcherio Goran 82 cage, which has 645 square inches of floor space and is also very similar to the Kevin 82. Next is the Prove 582, and this has 615 square inches of floor space, and it does have two large openings, one on the top and one on the side. Then we have the Ratnamble 100, which has 837 square inches of floor space and two smaller doors on the side, which do make it harder to access things on the inside of the cage. Next is the Furplast Christie 100, which has 839 square inches of floor space with a large top access door, but does have a unsuitable sized wheel. Then we have the Alaska Hamster Cage, which has 631 square inches of floor space, as well as the Savic Plaza, which has 775 square inches of floor space. Next is the Savic Hamster Heaven. This enclosure has 620 square inches of floor space. And the Savic Mickey 2XL has 620 square inches as well, but has a smaller bar spacing than the Savic Hamster Heaven. You'll also want to cover the mesh level to prevent any injuries. Then we have the Ritz Large Rat and Hamster Cage, which has 837 square inches of floor space, but you're going to want to avoid using the small wheel they include. Then we have the Midwest Critter Nation, typically used for chinchillas, but it has 900 square inches of floor space. And in order to make it suitable for a hamster cage, you're going to need to make a plexiglass or coroplast base, and this way the hamster can properly burrow. Next, we have our aquarium styled enclosures. Then we have the Skyline Falco with 775 square inches of floor space. This cage does have glass, which is good for bedding depth, but also wire bars if you're concerned about ventilation. Next, we have 40 gallon aquariums or larger. The typical 40 gallon has 648 square inches of floor space. There also is the 75 gallon with 864 square inches. The larger, the better. And I personally like this style of cage because they're great for bedding depth. Then we have the Exoterra 36 by 18 by 18, and this has 648 square inches of floor space, but also has a front opening door, which can be helpful for accessing things. Next is the Skyline Marrakesh, which has 630 square inches and looks like your typical aquarium. Then we have the Night Angel Glass Hamster Enclosure with 930 square inches of floor space. This cage also has those front opening doors, but is still a aquarium style. Then we have the Night Angel Bigger World MDF Terrariums. The medium has 776 square inches of floor space and the large has 929 square inches of floor space, similar to a tank, but it has plexiglass and wood. Then we have the Laola Nagarium made by Rody Pet and they come in two sizes, the first with 775 square inches of floor space and the second with 929 square inches of floor space. Next is the Furplast Duna Maxi Multi Cage with 790 square inches of floor space. Then we have the Living World Zoo Zone 2, which also has 790 square inches of floor space, but you will need to put mesh over the top bars as they are too wide for a hamster. Then we have the Paw Hut Wooden Cages. The first style here has 1,069 square inches of floor space, and the other has 1,063 square inches. Some things to keep in mind is the pull-out trays and openings on the bottom shouldn't be used in order to be able to put deep substrate, as well as keep in mind that the platforms are quite high, so some fences should be added or remove some of the platforms. 
And the last category is our DIY enclosures, and these will take some sort of handyman ability. We first have the IKEA Packs. This is a wooden wardrobe that when laid on its back makes a great cage, and it comes in many different sizes. The two examples I have here, one with 2,291 square inches of floor space and 3,081 square inches of floor space. Then we have the Ikea Linmon, which is an enclosure made from the Ikea Linmon tabletop and Hemnes glass tabletop. Once built, it has 877 square inches of floor space, and for a full tutorial, you can check out Vanilla Ham Ham's video. Next, we have the IKEA Detoff. This is a display case you lay on its back, remove the door and shelves, and this turns into a hamster cage with 953 square inches of floor space. Keep in mind the Detoff often doesn't work for Syrians because of the shorter width and height, but if you are still interested, then I'd recommend building a lifted lid like so. Lastly is bin cages. This can be a cheap, large option, though keep in mind some countries do not sell large enough bins to make into actual hamster cages. The Iris 44 gallon bin is a good bin with 792 square inches of floor space. Another thing to note is don't judge size by quarts or liters as this is volume, not area. Measure the width and length to find area. And those are the best cages of 2021. If you're interested to find out if an enclosure you have or would like to get is large enough or suitable for a hamster, I would highly recommend checking out the Hammingway website. This is a website that has a hamster enclosure database. So you can type in any type of enclosure and it will tell you the type of cage, all of the measurements, as well as the floor space and whether or not it's a suitable cage or not. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.